header. In this video we are going to be taking a look at this 4 amp hour uh, Einhell power exchange battery. So basically I got this thing at about 64 uh, euros or about 80 dollars uh, and there's a catch to it. If you look on uh, European Amazon for example this thing is about 60 euros this pack the 4 amp battery and this uh, charger but let me show you the catch actually I got at 64 euros this whole pack which is uh, basically circular saw plus battery at uh, the price of a battery so that's about uh, that's a bit weird from Altex if uh, any of my Romanian viewers are watching I don't know if they made a mistake or not I I was sure that I was not going to receive this I was only going to receive this because it was a kit they were selling this with this at the price of only this so <laughs> extremely weird uh, 320 lei in Romanian currency but it seems everything arrived so this will be a separate video because this thing I think it's awesome so let's get it out of the way so let's see what we got in this box move the camera it will squeak because why not but hey such is life so 18 volts all power exchange uh, have uh, this voltage 4 amp hours it will charge in 75 minutes on this charger and it can uh, be used actually no it can provide maximum of 900 watts continuously to uh, the tool that it's connected to obviously one for all power exchange I don't think there is anything else that is quite uh, useful for us in here as you can see the charger is uh, 3 amps I think this is the standard uh, charger it's probably not the fastest they have let's get inside the box and we have the battery itself I thought mm, maybe it's a second hand battery it, it, something it was too cheap to be good to, to be true nope because we don't have any scratch marks so this battery was never connected to anything we don't have any marks in here like it would have been put uh, on the ground or something so yeah camera focus 72 watt hours the charge yeah it came quite uh, depleted it has uh, the same system with three LEDs that will tell you about the charge the same unlock mechanism as all the other uh, batteries in this uh, category and we will be comparing it or uh, at least I will be comparing it to the single battery that I previously had for I think I have almost 10 Einhold tools uh, from this lineup at this point the 2.5 amp hours uh, battery which has some info in here if you want to see it so 45 watt hours is this one but uh, you would think yeah but you, you could have bought from the start one of this and uh, be done with it a bigger one well actually no because a bigger battery is obviously a heavier battery and there are some tools that will absolutely not benefit from a heavier battery like for example this thing right here hot melt gun this will even look stupid put on this thing because it will never draw 900 watts from this thing this will provide maximum 720 watts and it will charge on the same charger in about 50 minutes 
I think it's still charged. And yes, the charge lasts a lot even on this one when using it, for example, with this little guy, which again will benefit from a smaller battery because it will never draw more than 720 watts. And you want this as light as possible when working with it. So uh, let me also show you the charger itself. So yeah, again, I'm trying to, to explain to you, don't just go and buy the, the biggest battery from them and use that for all your, all your tools. I think if you have smaller tools, it's even better to buy a smaller battery and use that one for all of your or tools. I ended up buying this honestly because I needed the circular saw and when I saw the offer that I, they are giving me this big uh, battery for free basically, at, actually the circular saw for free at the price of a battery, yeah I couldn't pass on that. Uh, yeah we have warranty certificate in the box this i don't even know what it is safety instructions whatever yeah yeah we played safe on this channel <coughs> for sure uh, i think some information again for safety yes and you can register on anhel website these batteries based on this serial number this one also has it somewhere here to get, uh, I think you will have in the end three year warranty or something like that. So this is the new charger, power charger. Uh, I will link in the video description. You can also register this one. I will link the video that I made for this battery. I give more details even about the charger uh, in the description of this one that we are filming now because the chargers uh, are 100% identical and this is a good thing. I will be using my old one until it actually breaks. Hopefully it will never break. This is a backup. Or if I'm working uh, in another location, I can actually take this one with me because this I will mount to my wall and I, I will not move it from there. And I have a backup one, which is awesome. Again, it was basically for free. Uh, yeah, the capacity of it. 72 watt hours it can pump and uh, 3 amps which makes sense charging this in uh, 15 minutes and that one in about 75 so let's put this aside and again i want to show you why i uh, why i say that come on unhook that's a bit tight you don't want to be using this for all of your tools Let's get the scales. Let me try and see. Hopefully you can see it down there. It's not really good read, uh, readability. Let's zero it. Come on. Okay, zero grams. Put the old one in. 461 grams. The new one in. 672 grams. I'm too lazy to do the math at this point, so zero it and just add this one. So about 210 uh, grams more than this for a tool that you might uh, actually not need it. And let me explain to you why you might not need it. They were kind to include this leaflet for the power exchange lineup. And I, th I think this is the first leaflet that I ever got that's uh, actually useful. It's explaining a lot of things. Obviously, sorry about that. It's in Romanian. It's telling us the efficiency, uh, the advantages of brushless motors, for example. Uh, it's, it's explaining what uh, uh, what the capacity of 4 amp powers uh, compared to the watts that it can deliver means. So the amp powers, it's basically how big of a tank you have uh, on your car and the watts that it can deliver is the horsepower of your motor. So this has a smaller tank and a smaller motor, bigger tank bigger motor 
but if you are using it on a small car you don't need a bigger motor and a bigger tank on a city car i hope you you are understanding what i'm telling you here yes they are showing you what's inside quite quite electronically packed battery it has a lot of safety feature yeah i really like the fact that these guys uh, managed to be the partner of uh, bmw i i really like to see them succeed i've had handheld tools for a while and all of them were good okay anyway let's go above that as you can see here for each of these tools i think this is actually mine yeah my they have a, a bunch of models so i'm never sure if yeah, i think this is mine and yeah tscd yet yeah, let's see where is t uh, yeah tecd so this is exactly my tool you can see that it can be used from 1.5 amp hours battery and i have 2.5 which is almost about here and it's only telling you how much how many screws you can drive in with that amp hour battery but if we go further we will see something interesting and i might actually at the end of the video do a, sl a slow pass through this whole booklet if you want to read it uh, for english viewers you can just uh, watch the numbers uh, and that should tell you the whole story so i'm sorry about that if we go here to this thing for example you see a lighter gray this means and they tell you here in romanian for maximum performance you need a battery of at least 3 amp hours that in turn means that this thing will pull more than uh, 720 watts that the smaller batteries can give you so this is the single tool from this booklet up until now that actually will benefit in power from this not only in longevity uh, and even this one only needs 3 amp hours so let's search further to see if we find one that uh, has more i also have this particular tool which as you can see doesn't benefit for more power than this can so using it with this would only make it heavier not benefit at all this thingy doesn't benefit yeah i'm going to go quickly through it uh, i think i also have is this no i don't have an axio I have one of these two, but I'm not really sure which one of them. Uh, yeah, Expert Plus Classic, I think I have the Classic. In this case, again, if I have the 2.5 amp hour battery, it's enough. So I don't use this one with that particular tool. Let me see if there's any tool that actually requires quite a lot of power, and I don't think there is one, honestly. Again, same thing, if you have 2.5, you are still good no nope 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 not finding anything yeah here again we need the 3 amp power minimum for this but for smaller uh, handheld tools nope 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 yeah i'm i also bought one of these things and it will come soon again with a two and a half amp hour battery it will run for 40 minutes yes it will run 60 60 minutes with the big one but all it will also be heavier so not really necessarily an advantage yeah guys i i cannot find anything that will actually need a battery stronger than 3 amp so you might even try to get a 3 amp hours uh, and that would work for all of the tools but obviously it will be a tiny bit heavier than this one so for me this was the best choice in the middle of the road anyway again this will be shown all of it at the end of the video if you need it uh, i will start using this battery i will obviously put it to charge now and uh, get back to you with the results how it works if it overheats how long it lasts although if it's anything compared to this one uh, you will you will forget that you need to charge it at least around the house i'm not a professional so i don't 
work all day with a tool. I work for one to three hours as much as I need it and then let it rest for a few weeks, maybe, who knows. So let's put it to charge and uh, continue. This is plugged in. As you can see, it's waiting for us to insert a battery. Let me try and show you the LEDs themselves. Yes, this is 100% wall mountable, as you can see here, with two sc three screws for, uh, for strength. Uh, it doesn't have any rubber pads, so that's a bit of a minus. As you can see, it's the first time I see the distance between the screws on a product. So you know exactly where you need to drill holes. And this one hopefully is in the center of those two because they didn't give us another dimension. So we are, I'm expecting to be in the center. And for the direction of the cable, you can let it go down or you can rotate it. If I can actually do it and make it go up. You can slide it in the channel and it will lock in place. But for the moment it's going down. So that depends on your particular configuration in your workshop. So let's slide this battery in. It slides in like it does in the tool. And I don't think it locks like it does in the tool. So let's, yeah, it does not lock. So uh, you don't need to push on this to get it out. You just pull it and wiggle it because it's quite, uh, quite stuck in there when it's all the way in. And as you can see, it's uh, charging it. And at this point, uh, we'll wait. And yes, also the battery is showing you the state of the charge. So if it's on a wall, you can actually know just by looking at it from a bit of an angle. Actually, this is the angle that you will have it on your wall. You can see, okay, so uh, the first LED is 30%. We are above 30% uh, charging now. And in the end, they should, I think, be all green. This tool shows in green. This one shows in red, but maybe it's dual color. And uh, you get it in green um, when it's charged more than it is now. At least uh, that's the logic. And in here, it's telling you the charging times for uh, different capacities. As you can see, 50 minutes, 2.5, 75. 4 amps. So yeah, there's that. And it has a faint buzz to it, really, really, really faint buzz, so it will never bother you. Just wanted to add for the particular uh, circular saw that I got, they are telling me to use minimum 2.5 amp hours uh, battery to get the maximum performance. So that somehow makes sense that they included the 4 amp hours, although they could have included this 2.6 directly or a 3 amp. But hey, uh, I don't complain when I get uh, free stuff. And it's fully charged, so let's get it out of here. And let's see, do we have red or green? We have red. So this particular battery shows uh, the charging state in red. Compared to the old one that showed it in green. Zero, absolutely zero importance of that thing. And yeah, this one compared to the smaller 2.5 amp actually has rubber. The black part in here on the lower ha uh, half of it, it's actually rubber top it's plastic with a rubber edge so the edge starting from here below is rubber but the top is plastic here everything that you see black is uh, rubber apart from this actually so from here going down which is nice it's not slippery, it will not damage that easily, but the other one probably it, it's too small for them to bother to put rubber on it, so yeah. Let me start using this thing and get back to you. This thing... Oh, actually, I... No, oh, I charged it in my old one, by mistake. So, yeah, I will plug the new one in just to make sure that uh, it starts. And I will plug into it the, the smaller battery because this is already charged. 
So this is the new charger and I'm going to plug, plug this battery in. It is kind of charged but whatever and it will start to charge it and we wait for it to charge again you can see it blinking in there so the charger seems to be working obviously but hey better to test than be sorry afterwards and it's finished charging quite quickly so the charger is also working and we will see the 4 amp battery being put to use uh, next okay been using this thing for about a week still on first charge uh, used it on this used it on uh, uh, a rotary hammer uh, i think even on this for a really short while yeah still has a charge still working perfectly and for tools like this that in theory don't need a more powerful battery they still do benefit a little bit with the 2.5 amp battery this would grind to a halt um, on some wood that actually sticks to this thing uh, but with the 4 amp no issues there so yeah in some situation is good to have a bigger one so i'm quite happy that i have one 2.5 and this 4 amp uh, for my tools an update on the battery this thing is awesome on bigger machinery on smaller machinery no it's it's better to have a smaller battery but the smaller one on this when you are using really big drill bits like this one for example i think it's a 12 mil um, yeah this would wear out uh, quicker this one it's not bothered by it and on the angle grinder and uh, uh, circular saw again this this is better clearly and we're having a race just kidding this will obviously charge faster this will take longer to charge but this will uh, last longer than this which actually makes sense this is 1.5 more amps than this amp powers but both of them are awesome for their intended purpose so been using this battery on various tools for i think more than half a year now it hasn't let me down even once so it it holds the charge as much as you would expect considering its capacity so honestly i recommend you get it it's borderline uh, light enough to be used on smaller tools but heavy enough to give bigger tools uh, a punch so if you only buy one battery probably it's better to go with this bigger one than a smaller one if you also have bigger tools and yeah that's about it for this video thank you very much for watching ask whatever you need in the comments and as always see you in the next one bye